I co-wrote that episode uh, with my co-show running partners, Pond and Fuller, Bill and Jim, and uh, we just had a lot of fun. You know, hoping against hope that it wouldn't be the last episode, but pretty sure that it would. We just wanted to make sure that we, you know, tied up all the loose ends. And um, I was a fan of what I used to call the bittersweet stank ending. Like, I didn't really like things that were neat and super sweet. <laughs> um, but I did feel like that was the proper way to um, say farewell to this beautiful show, this beautiful cast of characters, this talented group of actors, to give everybody something that just felt satisfying. And also to bring back TC in the role of Kyle and to have it pay off, <laughs> paid off in such a wonderful way with you know Max discovering that her <laughs> baby that she was artificially inseminated with but was actually Kyle's child um, was so fun for the audience, super fun for me because as the wife of Kyle Bowser, I was carrying his first child at the time. So <laughs> it's just, it was just really easy. It was just really easy and fun. And um, again, just felt so right and it was personal, it was emotional. Um, and there's some moments that people on social media have pointed out, some whispers that people had behind the scenes that we didn't notice when we um, put the cut together. So there's some surprises. There's some, um, there's some Easter eggs in there. Go back and watch. <laughs> they had, they had, there's some moments there that were not planned. And um, so I think everyone felt pretty satisfied by the finale. The only thing unsatisfying about it was that it was the finale. But we did 118 episodes, and that's like 117 more than we ever knew we were going to get. We also were the beneficiaries of a two-season pickup after the second season, which was really lovely. It was such a vote of confidence, even though we had come up um, on the schedule against some juggernauts on other networks. But we did our thing. And the show was number one in black and Latino households for its entire run, which is also why I didn't, we didn't understand how we didn't make the schedule for season five. It was just kind of these arbitrary creative decisions get made, you know, in the executive ranks, and you just are kind of subject to it. Yeah, but I'm glad we got to wrap it up properly because Different World didn't get a finale, a proper finale, half and half. We had a series cliffhanger. <laughs> um, and I've seen other shows, you know, that were not necessarily um, given a, a great send off. So at least we got to, we, we did get that satisfaction. And the show had earned it. It had more than earned it. It helped build a network. <laughs>